All right, it is time. We are live. I'm so excited, you guys. We are going to have a great time today. Let me scoot my camera up just slightly because apparently I'm tall today. <laughs> things I never hear. All right. I'm super stoked. Welcome everybody. Happy Friday, depending on where you are from. Let me know in the chat. I know we've got YouTube going on here. We've got Facebook going on over here and we have uh, all of the people who are live on the actual training. I'm so excited. Welcome. Where are you guys all watching from? Go ahead and share in the comments. We're going to have a great time today. Are you guys ready for it? Who here needs a little bit of energy injection this week? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Amazing. We've got a lot of Midwest people here today. I'm Minnesota based. So it's really exciting whenever I see Minnesota come up or Wisconsin or Illinois. I'm like, yes, Midwest represent. So, so exciting. And I will get this out of the way early today because I know that this is going to come up a lot. People always ask this over and over and over again. I know this is absolutely shocking, but yes, this live training is actually live. When I say something's live, I really mean that it's live. It's not going to be pre-recorded. It's not going to be um, streamed from another date. When I say something's live, I really mean it. Who here is like, yes, that's what I love to see over pre-recorded. Um, today is, let me double check the date, May 28th, Friday, at least here in the United States. Yes, it's really live. I could say what the price of uh, what Dogecoin is and then everyone would be like, oh yeah, it really is live, but um, I'm super, super excited. All right, quick question for you as you're watching. Let me know in the, in the chat, have you downloaded TikTok before? Let me know in the chat. Who here has already created on TikTok? Who here's like, nope, it's for teens? My kids use it. My nieces and nephews use it. My grandkids use it. Who here says, you know, I've created an account and I've lost a lot of time thanks to the time portal that is hidden in TikTok. I don't know what happens. I sit down with TikTok and I literally two hours later emerge from the time portal and I don't know what happened. Who here says, I want to start creating on TikTok. I'm super excited to learn from you. I am so excited. So we're going to dive on in, you guys. We're going to talk about how to grow and monetize on TikTok specifically for business. Who here is like, I'm here for that reason alone because this is for business. This isn't about just going viral. This isn't just about shaking your booty because you don't just have to shake your booty to become successful on TikTok. Who here says, thank goodness for that and no dancing necessary. Who here is here because you're like, I don't have to dance. Sign me up. Yes, please. I don't want to dance. And if you want to dance, we'll talk about that in a moment because you totally can. All right. We're going to talk about three major topics today. So if you're taking notes, make sure that you take notes on these three topics. Okay. So ready for it? Number one, how I found your ideal target market on TikTok with my two-step reverse research method. Who is excited about number one? Drop a one in the chat. And I love when you guys are super active. By the way, if your settings on your chat say all panelists, you can change it to all panelists and attendees if you want everyone to see what you're saying. And if you're shy, that's fine too. Number two, why you can grow, go viral, and monetize without dancing, getting super creative, or being funny. Who here is here because of number two? You're like, yes, that's exactly what I need. Anybody in a busy season of life and you're like, I don't have 30 minutes to learn a dance for a 15 second video. I'm not that funny. Um, <laughs> okay, awesome. And number three, the one secret process that I use to effectively grow and monetize TikTok in less time than it takes to make a Starbucks run, where if you're from the Midwest, that's about 15 to 20 minutes. Who hears here because of number three? You're like, yes, I need this to work. I need it to work fast. I don't have time to invest hours and hours and hours into marketing, business, or extra hours rather. <laughs> Amazing, you guys. I love seeing all of those comments come on in. Now, I'm going to let you guys know a couple different things. One, yes, it's live. Just that reminder. Yes, it's May 28th. But number one, if you stay until the end, right before q and I'm going to give every single person who is attending live a super juicy bonus just for attending. Who here is going to stay until the end because you want that super ju juicy bonus? Totally free. It's awesome. I put together two trainings and one awesome uh, worksheet that you guys are going to love to take it to the next level. 
And number two, I know that there are going to be a bajillion questions across all three platforms. I'm going to answer the Q&A at the very, very end of this. So I will stay here and answer questions until my cello lesson. Yes, you can laugh that I have a cello lesson, but I'm an adult who wants to learn an instrument. So I will literally stay here and answer questions until they dry up. So if you stay until the end, right before the q and I'll give you guys all that juicy bonus just for being here because I'm grateful you're here. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful I get to teach you today. I'm grateful that we get to have some fun. All right, drop some love and emojis in the chat. Now, real fast, I'm going to explain who I am. And before I do that, I'm going to just make a couple of quick points. This is kind of a no-brainer, but it's not always a no-brainer. Be kind. We're going to be kind here today. If you want to be rude, trolly, mean, you can go somewhere else. Cool? Give me a thumbs up or an emoji in the chat if you can agree to that. I don't mind doubt. I don't mind objections. I don't mind if you're nervous or skeptical. It's okay. My husband is skeptical about everything. He's always got all the objections. I'm the optimist. He is the pessimist. I love him for that, but just be kind. We're going to keep it kind today. And my amazing team is manning the chat. So if you see me commenting in the chat, you'll notice my team is here. We've got Kellyanne, Jess, Tom, uh, my husband, Paul, is also here and a few other awesome team members. So save your questions until the end because I will not be able to scroll through these chats all the way and we will answer all your questions at the very end of this training. All right, first things first, who am I? Who here has never heard of me before and you're like, I don't know why I'm here and this girl reminds me of Le Legally Blonde, but I'm excited to be here. And some of you guys have followed me for a while. If you followed me for a while or you've seen my content before, <laughs> feel free to drop a yes in the chat. So real fast, who am I? My name is Rachel Peterson. I'm a social media strategist and mom of three. I'm Minnesota based. And uh, the cool thing is I started my businesses seven years ago when I was working as a hairstylist. A client came in one day and said, hey, I need some help with social media. And I was like, I don't really feel like an expert, but I'm going to help this person to figure out their social media game plan. And I jumped into marketing and I've never looked back. Now we've worked with some amazing clients, including ClickFunnels, Lionsgate. If you've heard of any of these companies, by the way, drop a yes in the chat. Code Red, um, Mig Soaps. We've worked with so many different companies. One of our most recent clients is Dean Graciosi. And so we have a lot of fun inside of our agency. A lot of times people ask, do you actually have an agency where you work with clients? Yeah, we totally do. We have made seven figures in our agency specifically working with clients. And I share that to back up that what we do works. I only teach things that work, that are simple, that are applicable. I don't teach things that require you to go out and hire an entire film crew. I don't teach things that require you to literally bring on 10 marketing experts to support you. Who here says, yep, awesome. Uh, okay, now to give you guys a little bit of the backstory, and I hope it's cool that I share this, let me know if it's okay to share a little bit of the backstory so you understand why this is so special to me. Um, now, 10 years ago, I was actually a single mom on welfare, sharing one bedroom on food stamps with my daughter, Dakota. I didn't think it was going to get emotional today, so I'm going to try to like hold it together. Um, that season of life was probably the most challenging season of my entire life. And one of the things that I love about that season that I didn't appreciate at the time, but I now appreciate with all of my heart, is that in that season of challenge, I learned resourcefulness. Drop the word resourcefulness in the chat or resource if you want. Um, the reason that I love resourcefulness is because it allows you to see opportunities everywhere. And so because of that, I really truly believe that is the reason why we were able, wow, my voice is like shaking, why we were able to build two businesses to seven figures. It's not because I have a rich dad because I don't. If I if he's secretly rich, someone please let me know. It's not because I married a rich man. I married very much for love. My husband and I actually met and got married 13 days later. And that was almost eight years ago. Um, we've since had two more kids. We started the businesses, rather, I started the businesses while we were both working full time. And one of the big things that has been a secret advantage for years is that I see opportunity everywhere. Drop a yes in the chat if that sounds like you. You're open to opportunity. You want to make things work. You want to make things work smarter, not harder. Uh, 
And maybe you've even experienced a lot of promises that have left you feeling disillusioned. Someone said, this is, you know, this is going to take you several hours a week. And you're like, I don't have several hours a week. Maybe someone has said, this is the secret weapon and it's never worked for you. This training is going to be perfect for you guys today. So who here feels this amazing energy, this intention? I'm so excited. Okay. So how I discovered TikTok, I've been on TikTok for two years and two years ago, I had a conversation with one of my good friends. Her name is Annie Grace. She wrote several books that are bestsellers, including This Naked Mind and The Alcohol Experiment. And Annie Grace and I were, <laughs> this is going to sound really bougie. So just laugh with me and bear with me for a second here. But we were taken on a yacht trip to the Bahamas thanks to the company called ClickFunnels. Who here has ever heard of Russell Brunson or ClickFunnels? So we were taken to the Bahamas and on this trip, Annie Grace said to me, Rachel, have you put anything on TikTok yet? And I was like, TikTok, what's that? I've never heard of it. She said, TikTok is this platform. It's really fun. You sing, you dance, you lip sync. And I think you're going to absolutely love it. It seems like your personality. And I was like, well, I can get down with singing. I can get down with dancing. I can get down with lip syncing. And I can definitely get down with making a fool of myself. So I started recording my TikToks on that trip. You can actually scroll all the way back on my TikTok profile. Don't do it right now, but do it later. And you can see the very first TikTok I ever created. It was with Annie Grace on that trip. And I started creating content. Meanwhile, you guys, everyone in the business world was saying, this is a waste of time. This is a distraction. There are no adults on this platform. But something in my head said, I don't know. I think that there's an opportunity here. And I couldn't get it out of my head. Now, who here's ever heard of Gary Vaynerchuk? A couple people. Drop a yes in the chat if you have. A me. Okay. Several years ago, I had the opportunity to meet Gary Vaynerchuk at a private event. By the way, I am going to flex for just two seconds because I think this is kind of cool being like a Minnesota born and raised girl and a mom of three. I've had the opportunity since that moment to go to a private dinner with Gary Vaynerchuk, to speak on stages with him several times. He's a really awesome person and he cares a lot. But one of the things I listened to Gary about was at this private event several years ago, he shared the signs that a platform is going to take off. And he started explaining all of these different signs. And I took notes, tons of notes. And I was thinking back to that conversation where he shared these signs that a platform is going to take off, that there's an opportunity for people to go viral like they never have before. By the way, who wants that? Who wants to grow in a way that you never have before on any other social media platform? He said, one of the biggest things that you have to do is stop being in catch up mode with social media platforms. You can't always be trying to catch up to people. You have to get ahead of the curve on a platform and then experience that beautiful early adoption. And I remember thinking about that. And as I started to create my TikToks, I thought this is going to be interesting, but we'll see what happens. Everybody's saying there's nothing here. This is a platform for kids and teenagers. Uh, Rachel, drop it. And in fact, at some business events, people were making fun of me for my TikTok videos, but I just stuck with it. I believed in myself. I knew that there was something there and I kept putting out videos over and over and over again. By the way, they were really cringy and most of them are still up. So just know you can actually literally see the journey that I went on in real time on my entire TikTok profile. Can someone drop my TikTok profile handle in the chat team? Awesome. All right. So I kept creating videos, kept creating videos. Not much is coming from it. And then one night, my kids and I were goofing around and we decided to record a TikTok to everyone's favorite song. Any guesses as to what that song might be? I'm going to take a big old swig of water. That was fast. Some of you guys knew right away. Every parent's favorite song is Baby Shark. <laughs> it goes Baby Shark do 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 do. So we did it where my kids literally stood in the living room of our 1,200 square foot townhouse. And this was two years ago. My kids are sitting there going Baby Shark do 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 do. And when the mom part comes in, I hopped in and went Mama Shark do 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 do. And I posted it. Didn't think anything much of it. You guys, the next day I woke up and the video had reached thousands of views. I only had 60 followers and something in me said, 
this is it. This is the sign that this platform is going to go big, that we are on the the front of this early adoption. Who here would freak out if you got several thousand views overnight? Drop a yes in the chat. In the following week, that video went on to reach 9,000 views. Meanwhile, I only had 60 followers. Who here says, I want a piece of that action? But as I told my friends, my colleagues, my peers all about this, everyone was still saying the same thing. Rachel, there's no adults on TikTok. Rachel, this is not a platform for business. Yes, you went viral with a baby shark song. That doesn't count. And I was like, Ugh. I, like I don't know. Does anyone else ever get this way? When someone tells you something can't be done or you can't do it or it's not the right fit, you like almost get a little bit defiant and you're like, I'll show you. I'll prove it to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this happen. And so I continued creating videos. And then one day uh, we posted a video that was talking about one of the greatest songs in the history of the world, Instincts Bye Bye Bye. And literally we posted it and I was like, kids today don't understand this song was life. And we posted it, it was my husband and I, and I intentionally created that to go viral to adults. Over the next two weeks, you guys, that video reached 50 or 60,000 views. Who here says, oh my gosh, okay, my eyes are opening. Yep, this is what I want. I was blown away. I still had only 60 followers, but that one video going viral grew my followers to several hundred. And I kept on posting over and over and over again, making things happen. Now, what's wild is videos started to go viral. People started finding me. Opportunities started coming from TikTok. And what was wild for me was realizing that there was untapped viral potential every single time that you post on TikTok. But not just that, consistently I was building a platform. I don't know about you guys, but have you ever created content on Instagram or Facebook and you spent a lot of time working on that content and literally you post it to crickets? You get less than 50 likes. Maybe it's nine, maybe it's 17. And you're like, come on. And you're exhausted, you're burnt out, but nobody gives you like a better solution. So you're like, I'm just going to keep doing this because everyone keeps telling me to be active on social media, but nothing's working. Is anyone even seeing this? Is it, you're almost like tapping the mic. Is this thing on? Hello? How do I get in touch with people? And while I'm a social media strategist, my expertise is in crushing it on Facebook and Instagram. I had never seen anything like the viewership, the reach, the engagement, and the exponential growth on TikTok. Now, to give you guys some context about how much has changed on TikTok for me over these last two years, two years ago, I started with zero followers, got to 30, got to 60, got to 300, and then watched exponential growth happen. In fact, today, just two years later, in real time, we have over 833,000 followers. Who here says, I'll take a tenth of that? I'll take a hundredth of that, heck? I would love that. Now, I'm going to give you guys some behind the scenes, like this is the real time snapshot of how much has changed. And I'm going to give you guys exactly the steps that you need to start taking action on TikTok. All right. So over the last 60 days, <clears throat> I've personally earned 18,900,000 views on TikTok. To put that into context, each view is at least eight seconds. So when we multiply 18.9 million times eight, that means that on this platform of TikTok, people have watched 151 million seconds of my face for free without a single ad. If we break all the math down, basically, my face has been on repeat in people's news feeds or for you pages is what we call it on TikTok for the equivalent of 4.7 continuous years. Drop a yes if you just want a fraction of that traffic that branding, that impression, uh, impression ability, that influence. It's wild. It's super powerful, you guys. And I'm not even hyping it up even more than it needs to be. It is super powerful. Now, the big thing that I had to prove, though, was is this a platform where A, there are adults and B, there are conversions? Can I get conversions specifically from TikTok? So I went to an event called War Room. Who's ever heard of digital marketer, Ryan Dice, Roland Fraser, Perry Belcher, all great marketers, legends in the space. They asked me to speak at this event called War Room to talk about TikTok. And right before I went on stage, my team and I had this wild idea. What if I recorded a TikTok 
while I was on stage. So in 60 seconds or less, recording a TikTok, posted it, and then shared the results by the end of the event. So I recorded a TikTok that was a call to action. And by the end of the event, you guys, we had over 260 leads for a training from one TikTok. Just a few days later, as the nurture cycle went through, we saw that first $600 sale come through directly from the leads on TikTok. And I knew we've just discovered gold. Who here says, yep, if you can do it once, you can do it a hundred times. If you can do it once, you can do it a thousand times. There is gold on TikTok. And since then, you guys, TikTok has impacted my business, my students' businesses, my clients' businesses massively. Um, how TikTok has directly impacted my business. We used to spend about 20 to 30, even upwards of $45,000 a month on Facebook ads. We generate so much free traffic from TikTok that today we rarely spend more than $10,000 per month. So we are more profitable generating more leads organically without spending a dollar on those leads. And our business has grown consistently through 2020 into 2021. But not just that, TikTok has directly led to five and six figure clients for my agency. Opportunities I would not have gotten if it were not for my growth specifically on TikTok. Now, I'm also going to let you guys know who here has a YouTube channel. Drop a yes in the chat. My condolences because YouTube is the hardest platform to grow on by far. YouTube is so challenging to grow. Who has experienced that? Now, TikTok has jump started my growth on TikTok. So, back in September of 2019, I had about 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Today, we have 88 thousand subscribers on YouTube. TikTok has blown up our YouTube and the entire marketing ecosystem. Note those two words because those are going to come into play more and more, the more that you learn from me. But the other thing that's really powerful, I've always had a love-hate relationship with Instagram, if I'm being honest. Does anyone else feel that way, by the way, about Instagram? Love it, but also hate it. Kind of get a little annoyed with it, get frustrated. TikTok helped me to crack the code on Instagram. I've literally been able to use my TikTok to piggyback growth on my Instagram and also to jumpstart my IG Reels game. I actually double down. I use my TikToks as Reels. And because of TikTok, you guys, this past month on Instagram, we've reached 30 million impressions. We've reached 10.6 million individual accounts on Instagram. And we've grown by 40,000 followers on Instagram in the last six months. So who here says, okay, I, I, I'm here. I'm here. I'm all in. Yep. I need to use TikTok as that jumpstart into my marketing, into my social media, into my business, my lead gen, my sales. And then remember you guys, I will answer all of your questions at the end. Now I, 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 uh, I have to share all of those stats. So you guys under behind, understand that behind the scenes, I'm not just making stuff up or I'm not just showing up here not as an expert. We are walking the walk. We are talking the talk. We are teaching it. We are doing it with our clients and having consistent success. So let's dive on in to point number one. Ready for it? Drop a one in the chat. How I found your ideal target market on TikTok with my two-step reverse research method. Who here says... I need a way to find my dream clients or customers where I'm not fighting with all of my competitors. My competitors are crushing it. They're doing great. I see it all the time. I'm tired. I want to tap into a blue ocean where it's the waters aren't red from everyone fighting for the same audience. Okay, we are going to talk real fast about TikTok's stats, and then I'm not going to show you. I'm going to prove it to you or allow you to prove it to us whether or not your audience is on TikTok. You guys cool with that? So number one, let's talk about ideal markets on TikTok. Every so often I have the opportunity to connect with TikTok corporate directly. And they share with me confidential presentations. I'm not allowed to screenshot them, but I am allowed to take notes, which is cool. And on TikTok, you guys ready for this? There are currently over 800 million monthly active users. 
Now, before you say, yeah, but I'm sure a lot of those people are in China, that is excluding China. China has its own app. It's called Duyen. 800 million monthly active users. Now, this is what's going to blow your mind. You ready for this? Between, at any given time, 26 and 31% of those users are over the age of 30. Can I get some love in the chat for that? Because who here just realized, oh my gosh, my target market's on TikTok. Now, I'm not a mathematician. Actually, I'm really good at math. I just don't feel like doing great math right now. Uh, somewhere between 150 and 250 million people over the age of 30. Who says, yep, my market's on TikTok. Absolutely, yes. This is wild. Now, what's also wild about TikTok, you guys, is that in 2020, it was the, it became the number one most downloaded app as Facebook and Instagram plateaued with growth, meaning it only can go down from here. TikTok is continually growing. It is one of the top platforms for where people are spending their time. Did you guys know how much time the average user spends on TikTok? You ready for this? 82 minutes per day. <gasps> Who here says that is a ton of time? Who's experienced it, actually? You hopped on a TikTok, you're like, I'm just going to research a couple things real fast. And then you accidentally discovered the time portal, the hidden time portal that makes you accidentally spend hours. And then you look up and you're like, what day is it? What's going on, right? 82 minutes per day spent on this app. And here's the wild part. Most of that time is spent with sound on. Whew, right? That means if you spend more than 82 minutes per day on TikTok, there are people spending more time on it. If, sorry, if you spend more time on on it, there are people who are spending less. But if you're spending less than 82 minutes per day on TikTok, there are people who are spending way more. So sound on, 82 minutes per day. Who wants just a tiny, tiny little fraction of that? Amazing. Okay, let's talk real fast about how to find your ideal market because I found your ideal market. They're on TikTok and I want to prove it to you. Now, before this training, who here felt skeptical about whether or not TikTok could work for you and your business? or skeptical about whether or not your, your specific model could work, whether your clients are on there. It's about to change for you, but we're going to keep going. Even if you're still feeling skeptical, that's totally fine. It's totally fine. What I want you to realize right now is that your competitors are feeling the same way about TikTok. We are in a very powerful phase called early adoption. And with early adoption, this means that you can Beat your competitors to any platform. So if you feel skeptical, unsure, uncertain, don't know whether or not you should test the waters, your competitors are feeling exactly the same way. So here's how I'm going to prove to you your target market is on there waiting for you to show up and be the go-to expert on this platform. Thank you. I love these nails. They're really fun. I always ask myself which nails are going to spark the most joy. And then I go ahead and pick those. Okay. So this is my two-step reverse research method. Now, most people, when they're doing research, do it totally wrong. Uh, it's hard to write when you're also talking. Reverse research method. Here's how most people do it. So this is step one. Most people say, okay, what am I? I am a social media manager. I am a nutritionist. I am a mom. I am right? I am a dog store. I'm a boutique owner. In order to discover whether or not your audience is on TikTok, you have to reverse this completely to go to step two and ask yourself not what hashtags do I use, but what hashtags are my ideal clients and customers using? For example, if you have a boutique, is it moms over 30? that are shopping at your store. If you sell a wine brand, maybe you're looking for wino. If you are a headshot photographer, you might be looking for high schoolers, right? 
if you are a business owner or a social media manager, you might be looking for business owners. So now what I want you guys to do is open up the TikTok app. Real fast, drop in the chat, what is the reverse research method? What are the hashtags that your ideal clients or customers are using to describe themselves? Drop it in the chat. Remember guys, we will have two things. Number one, we are going to have an entire bonus for you right before the Q&A just for being here. And we are also going to open up Q&A at the very end of this. Awesome. I'm not sure what they're using other than wedding TikTok. Oh, hashtag engaged. Hashtag just got engaged. And if you say everyone, well, you might want to get a little more specific, but what ages, what demographics, what locations, what do they do for a living? Are they parents? Are they not? Amazing. Okay. Now I want you to open up the TikTok app. Okay. And when you open the TikTok app, Go to the little magnifying glass that says discover. Okay. Go to the magnifying glass that says discover. Cool. Once you go to the discover magnifying glass at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a search bar across the very top of your TikTok. Search for the hashtag that your ideal clients or customers are using. And you tell me what numbers do you see for the numbers of uses? Okay, let's go ahead and try this. If I want to search for business owner, oh boy, that's wild. Are you guys seeing all those numbers in the, in the chat? By the way, if you have it set on all panelists and not all panis, panelists and attendees, not everybody can see it. So go ahead and, and uh, change it to all panelists and attendees unless you're shy. That's fine too. It's okay to be shy. All right, so go to the magnifying glass that says discover on TikTok at the bottom of the screen and then search at the very top of the screen for the hashtag that your ideal clients or customers are using. Once you hit search, the numbers will pop up on this right-hand side. Okay, I'm just going to allow you to tell me, did we find your target market on TikTok? Is your target market on TikTok Mark says no, which I'm willing to bet. Oh, not specific enough. Try again. Try again. Okay, awesome. Who here realizes that there's an opportunity for you to beat your competitors to TikTok and become the go-to expert? Uh, team, can you guys support with the steps in the chat for anyone who is getting lost? All right. Awesome. Who here's like, I'm, I'm totally all in. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to crush it on TikTok. No one on TikTok in Ireland. I don't know about that. Was it banned from Ireland? I know it was banned from India, but let's check out Ireland. I see 6.2 billion uses. I've seen people in Ireland on, from Ireland on my homepage. So type in the hashtag here in the search bar and then go ahead and see how many how many people are watching those videos what's going on cool okay amazing who here has already gotten value so far you're like yep this is awesome this is real this is legit we're going to take it even further you guys cool with that you cool if i just keep on going all right now I want to tell you guys, we have worked with some amazing students and we have, uh, oh, it's been amazing to see the results that they've gotten inside of the Talk Academy. Linnea got a video that had 925,000 views in a market that she was considering testing. Considering testing, she created one video. It reached 925,000 views just by following the reverse research method and then implementing exactly what we shared. Jamie went from zero to one million followers in four months using the steps that we recommend. Who here wants a piece of this? Yes, it's real. 
there's awesome opportunity. It's not just me. Some people get less results. Some people get better results than me. Some people get the same. All right, let's dive on in to point number two. Cool, cool, cool. Why you can grow, go viral, and monetize without dancing, getting creative, or being funny. Now, can I just be super real about something for a second here? Because I don't know about you guys, but I'm in a season of life that's really busy. Is anyone else in that season? I'm not saying that to make myself sound important. I'm saying there are busy seasons of life. We just went into the activities season. Any parents who have ever been through that season will understand. I was vastly unprepared <laughs> for it. I didn't realize it was so hard. So we have activities four to five nights a week. It's wild, right? So who here is in a busy season? You, When you think about marketing, do you get just tired? You think, how do I get creative? How do I stand out? My brain isn't even working. I'm just trying to figure out what we're going to have for dinner. I am just trying to figure out when I'm going to find time to wash my hair. Uh, when you think about creating content that leans into all of the pain points and isn't going to get crickets, like just thinking about that is exhausting. Who here has ever been told that in order to market and grow your business, you have to spend a few hours a week, that if you don't hustle and make marketing happen, you obviously don't care. Who's heard that before? And you're like, oh, come on, that can't be the only way. I'm going to make things so much more simple for you guys here because one of the beautiful things about TikTok is that it does some of the marketing for you. Drop a yes in the chat if you want that. Now, I'm going to put a huge disclaimer here. So this is grow. Go. We're going to actually say go mini viral because not everyone actually wants to go viral. Going viral is intense. Okay. Here's my huge disclaimer. I love dancing. I'm a big goofball. I am silly. I am an Enneagram seven. I am not embarrassed easily. <laughs> it takes a lot to embarrass me. Um, I really, really, really enjoy. Uh, I really enjoy creating TikToks with dancing, being silly, saying things that most people would be kind of embarrassed by. If you like dancing or being silly or getting creative, you are welcome to do so. Cool? But you do not have to, to be successful on TikTok. Let's go ahead and talk about why TikTok is so different. We are in a season that will at some point soon here come to an end. <clears throat> that season is called early adoption. Okay. Now, early adoption, and we'll talk about how much time I spend on TikToks in point or step number three. Cool. Now, why TikTok works so well? Go ahead and share in the comments, you guys. How much time does the average user spend on the app per day? Go ahead and share it. I got to test who's paying attention. 82 minutes per day. Awesome. You guys are paying attention. I love it. Okay. So 82 minutes per day. Now here's the wild part. On TikTok, there are three letters or three words that create magic. And that is FYP for you page. When you open the TikTok app, it's the first thing that you see. You actually don't see content from people you follow. You see the FYP. It says for you. 75% of the time spent on TikTok is spent on the For You page. That means that TikTok is actively putting your content in front of people who maybe follow you, but don't necessarily follow you. Who here wishes every other platform did this? Or who remembers the early days of Instagram, the early days of Facebook, where you had that like untapped viral potential every single time? So what's amazing about TikTok is it does that. 75% of time spent on TikTok is spent browsing the FYP. So every single day, your content stands a chance at showing up in front of strangers, which is a very good thing. Now, 
to give you guys some context, I'm not by any means the poster child for fast growth, consistent growth, tons of growth on TikTok. In fact, there are tons of businesses, tons of influencers who are building for the very first time on this platform. Who are some of your favorite people if you've spent time on TikTok that have grown on this platform and it's their first time growing and having tons of growth and having a following? Feel free to drop those in the chat. But I think about, for example, the Bentist. The Bentist is dentist with a B and the Bentist has absolutely skyrocketed. He is the creator or founder of West Rock Ortho and the Bentist has grown now to 9 million followers. You guys, this is a dentist, a dentist. What kind of world do we live in where a dentist now has the opportunity to reach 9 million people just in their followers? Um, but a great example of this also is Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie D'Amelio is, uh, I think she's 16 turning 17 soon. And before TikTok, people didn't really know who Charlie D'Amelio was. Over the last year and a half, almost two years, she has grown to over 100 million followers. She danced with J-Lo uh, at the Super Bowl uh, opportunity. She's been in commercials. She is now accepting sponsorship opportunities for between a hundred thousand dollars and a million dollars, seven figure sponsorship deals all because of TikTok. And that's great. I mean, who here wouldn't want to be flown to Milan for fashion week and sponsored by Prada? It, I think it'd be a fun opportunity for most people, but who here has different goals than becoming a super celebrity influencer? Who has a different goal than that? Goddess Giving is in the Talk Academy. Did you know that? She's amazing, isn't she? Way different goals. I wouldn't be mad if Prada called me tomorrow. Actually, I wouldn't be mad if Louis Vuitton called me tomorrow and said, hey, we'd love to sponsor you. We think you're awesome. Is this likely to happen? Probably not. But my goals are different. Your goals may be different than what Charlie's goals are. And I think she's amazing, by the way. I'm putting three stars by her because I think she's incredible, especially at that age for taking that, uh, that pressure of that platform. Okay. But for most of us, the goals are going to look different. So instead of going viral, which is an awesome, like, I want you to think of it as like frosting on top of the cake. It's great when it happens. It doesn't always happen. And that's okay because our goals are different than Charlie D'Amelio's goals. Our goals are to grow consistently. Who here would be happy with growing consistently? Who here would be happy with generating leads? Drop a yes in the chat. And who here would be happy with closing sales from TikTok? Even if it was just one, even if it was just 10, even if it was just a hundred. Okay. Awesome. So we can all, we can all admit our goals are going to be a little different than Charlie's. We don't necessarily need to get super creative. We don't need to do the latest dances. We don't have to be uh, any of the superlatives, the most pretty, the most funny, the most clever, but you could be the most consistent, which is kind of cool. All right. Now this is super, super, super important. I want you guys to tell me in the chat. If all you could do was generate one lead from TikTok, what would that be worth to you? Kristen, no, that's a myth. I'm going to talk about it in just a moment. This is going to blow your mind. You ready for it? What would one lead be worth for you in your business? How about 10 leads? Drop it in the chat. What would 10 leads be worth for you in your business? It's a lot, right? How about 100 leads? So what I'm going to teach you, you guys, this is a lot, right? This is worth everything. What I'm going to teach you is that there are two different major types of content for TikToks. The first is trending. Trends are what Charlie does, what all of these famous people do. And trending content's great, and it can be really fun to add on top of everything if you want. You don't have to. But 
trending content is things like dances, fancy videos, collabs with celebrities. Everything that I'm going to teach you, you guys, you do not need to follow the trends in order to be successful with. You do not need to dance. You don't need to follow the trends. You don't need to be on the app every single day researching. You don't need to learn a single dance. The second type of content is what we're going to focus on. Drop a yes in the chat if this is music to your ears. And that type of content is evergreen educational content. Now, evergreen educational content is content that works today, works a week from now, works a month from now. It could even work a year from now. And now that I've been on this platform for two years, I can straight up tell you guys that number one, all of your content over the years does have a snowball effect that compounds and speeds up growth. So for example, in the old days, I'd be super thrilled to grow by 5,000 followers in one month. Now it's not that wild. If I see 5,000 followers in a day, our record is 19,000 new followers in one day. Evergreen educational content is what generates leads because it positions you as the go-to expert in your space, right? Ooh, my tummy's growling. <laughs> I mean, I have to grab like a bar right before my cello lessons. I feel so funny going back and learning an instrument. I'll probably have to TikTok that because, or I'll rather record it for like a journey of here's how I became good at the cello. Okay. Evergreen educational content. Now here's what's wild about evergreen educational content. I'm going to give you guys right now the ability to create TikTok, TikToks that are educational evergreen content. Cool. So evergreen means it's good or the same today. It's the same next week. It's the same a month from now. Generally speaking, it's the same a year from now. Um, okay. I used to be a hairstylist. When I was a hairstylist, some of the most common questions I would get would include, do you think I should go platinum blonde? How do I know if I should get bangs? How can I style my hair in easy styles that make sense in the summer heat? Would it be damaging for my hair to get highlights? How do I grow my hair long? Those were some of the most common questions I got as a hairstylist. What's wild is while trends may change over time, so a trend, a trendy video may work for you know, a day or a week or a month, trends change. Who here has been through trends changing in fashion, hair, dancing, music, food, the entire culture, right? It changes all the time. Like, did you guys know that in culture today, in trends, side parts are out? What? What? Doc Martens are back in. Flares are in. What? Like, it's just wild. But there are certain things that are classics. Evergreen content is classic. It is the same today. It is the same a year from now, which is pretty cool. So what I want you guys to do in order to create your first or your next 10 TikTok video ideas, you ready for this? Write down a question that your dream clients or customers always ask, just like the ones I just shared for a hairstylist. Go ahead and drop one in the chat. What is one question that your clients or customers always ask about your products or services? Drop it in the chat. What are, if you've already finished that one, because you guys are fast. The second is, what is a question that people ask about your industry as a whole? I'm going to give you guys this action step. I want you to write down the 10 FAQs that you hear the most. Let's curl that little cue. The 10 FAQs that you hear the most, the frequently asked questions that you get in your industry because that is your 10 first or next TikTok videos. Who here just have like a whoa moment. Now, while these videos may not go as viral, but sometimes they do, and often they do, these videos can perform for years. Now, there's another added benefit to TikTok, you guys. Content has a long shelf life. 
Have you ever created a piece of content for YouTube, Instagram, or rather not YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and it disappeared within three or four days max? The shelf life was nothing. Maybe it disappeared within a couple days, hours, people stopped engaging, people stopped finding it. The discoverability was like nothing. TikTok continually takes your content and tests it in front of new audiences over and over and over again, over and over and over again. So I have videos that are expertise positioning, ones where I'm talking about social media, building businesses, the books that I love to read two years later that are still performing. Some of my current virals are from a year ago. Who here wants to create a piece of content once that works for them for weeks, months, and or even years? Is this a heck yes? Heck yes. Heck yes. Now, if you are a busy business owner, you need your content to be leveraged. TikTok is one of the most leveraged platforms I've ever seen. You create a piece of content once and it can perform over and over and over and over again. And in fact, your content doesn't hit its fullest potential most of the time until after 30, 60, 90 days. Anyone who tells you videos only last 90 days is a liar, straight up. I have seen content going viral a year plus later. Woo! Okay, who here's saying, I'm getting so much value from this. This is amazing. This is going to be a game changer for my business. Who's gotten value so far today? Oh yeah, baby. We're having fun, aren't we? Now, the big thing is you don't have to go viral. We already talked about that, right? The goal is not to go viral. When that happens, that is frosting on top of the cake. Your goal is to be positioned as an expert, the go-to in your industry, and to ultimately generate leads. And remember, how much are leads worth to you? The second thing I want to share is that the fortune is in the follow-up. Whenever people say, yeah, but how much does the lead worth? Well, if we want to get really technical, if you're running advertisements to generate leads, you're going to pay between 50 cents if you have a really good advertiser and a really good offer, up to $5, and in some industries, up to $50 per lead. So if we want to get really technical, that would be the literal cost of a lead, but a lead is only as good as the follow up that you put into it. Cool. There's a little extra bonus for you guys across all marketing. A lead is only as good as the follow up that you put into play. Make sure you save your questions to the end because we're going to answer all the questions. All right. Ready for this. Now, using just or mostly evergreen content, our students of the Talk Academy are getting big results. For example, Tiffany is an NLP coach. She crossed 100,000 views with just evergreen videos. Just evergreen videos. Who here wants a piece of that action? And elementally built a six-figure e-commerce store just using evergreen TikTok videos. Who here says, yes, please? Both our students in our talk academy. All right, who's getting inspired and excited? Kind of fun. All right, let's dive on in to number three. Drop a three in the chat so I know you're all still awake and alive and excited to be here. The one secret process that I use to effectively grow and monetize TikTok in less time than it makes, uh, takes to make a Starbucks run. Now, who here says I'm in, but I swear to goodness, Rachel, if you tell me I have to spend just, just an hour a day on TikTok to be successful, I am going to, who here says yes. Do not tell me I need to spend just one or two hours a day on TikTok. Just, you know, just spending like just five hours a week. You guys are like, I am, if I hear that one more time, absolutely no, not going to happen. Stop it. Okay. Ready for this to get consistent success on TikTok, you only need the time that it takes to make a Starbucks run. Now, how I discovered this several years ago, I spoke at a little event called Funnel Hacking Live. I've actually spoken at that event several times. One time I was nine months pregnant, had to get a doctor's note to go on the plane to fly to Florida to speak on stage, nine months pregnant. But this time 
I went to speak on stage. And as I was getting ready to go to mic check, my husband said, I need to go grab something from the convenience store. And I was like, okay, awesome. So he crossed the hotel, which is, it was the Gaylord in Nashville, which is a huge hotel. And I was like, I'm going to record a couple of TikToks while Paul is running to the convenience store. And I was like, oh, the lighting in here kind of stinks. I'm going to go out in the hall and use better lighting. As soon as the door closed, you guys, click. I was like, no, I forgot my key card. Dang it. So I have 15, 20 minutes. I didn't really want to work. And an idea popped into my head since my hair was done, my makeup was done, which is not an everyday thing. Can I get an amen in the chat from those of you who understand what I'm talking about? Since my hair was done, my makeup was done, my outfit was great. I was like, what if I recorded all of my TikToks for the next few days in these 15 to 20 minutes? What if I just tried to create a bunch of TikToks and, and save them all as drafts? So I sat and I recorded. And in that time that it took for Paul to go across the hotel to the convenience store and back, it's a huge hotel, uh, I recorded 10 TikToks in 15 to 20 minutes. Now, this is absolutely wild because 10 TikToks can last you a while. And here's why. On TikTok, some people will say literally post a hundred TikToks per day in order to have success. Uh, sorry, who are these people that have all the time for that? I tried once to do um, 50 in a day took me four hours and 19 minutes and I was burnt out for weeks. Don't ever try to do that. I would not recommend it like negative 10 out of 10 recommend it. Okay. So the other thing that's wild is when I tested the theory of posting 50 TikToks a day, we did not see any noticeable growth. There was no noticeable growth from posting 50 per day. So there's your little like heads up. It, it doesn't make a huge difference. The truth is on TikTok, consistency beats frequency all the time. All the time. If you're going to choose to be a superlative, most something, pick most consistent. Consistency can look like, are you guys ready for this? One TikTok a week, three to five TikToks a week one TikTok per day. Keep it chill. Who here's like, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with you. Thank you, Rachel. I am being so serious. I will give you guys one disclaimer. If you notice I post more TikToks, it's because I'm at a place in our business where this is a big priority. TikTok has actually become one of our main traffic drivers for our entire business. So it's changed from being something that I did just consistently to something that's a non-negotiable. It's built into our marketing plan every single day. And now that I'm at 833,000 followers, my goal is to get over a million. And I went from growing by 5,000 followers per month to it not being that weird to grow by 100,000 followers in a single month. So my goals and my strategy at this point are gonna be different than yours. Who here says, thank goodness, I feel like this is doable. I could actually do this. I could post one TikTok per week. I could post one TikTok per day. If I see results, I'll make it more of a priority. Okay. So pick a frequency. You can even start with one X a week and see what happens. See if you like it. And here's a big tip. You guys, are you ready for this? You can use TikTok to create content for a lot of other platforms in less than five minutes. Less than five minutes, you can literally use your TikToks to make your Instagram perform better, to make your YouTube blow up, to be active on a lot of other platforms. This has become our domino content is all from TikTok, topic for another day. You can do 1x per day, three to five times per week. Consistency beats frequency every single time. So what you can do is sit down and batch record your TikToks in 15 to 20 minutes. In those 10 TikToks that I recorded being locked out of my hotel room, I created enough content for one to two weeks on a consistent schedule. And if I was posting less often, this could have been 
longer. Okay. Who here says, yes, I'm getting so much value from this. This is speaking to me. This feels amazing. That could last you two to four weeks. All right. Now to share some of the results of our students from the Talk Academy. Larissa is using TikTok to grow her entire business. Larissa is goddess giving. Who here loves goddess giving? I love her so, so, so much. Larissa started TikTok because of the Talk Academy. And today she has over 200,000 followers. But not only that, she's built a business that does between two and $6,000 per month, specifically from TikTok. Make sure to save your questions till the end. I'm going to answer all of your questions, specifically from TikTok. Philippa got three leads from one TikTok video for service-based clients. Who here wants a piece of those results? It's goddess giving on TikTok. You can actually see she's crushing it. Okay, so we've covered a lot over the last hour. Who's feeling excited and maybe a little overwhelmed? Drop a yes or a me in the chat. Sound familiar? We've got Facebook going on. We've got Zoom. We've got YouTube. Amazing. Who has tons of notes? Cool, cool. I love it, love it, love it. All right. Would it be okay with you guys if I made you a special offer? Because I know that you're going to need this. And there is so much more that I can give you. This will save you hundreds of hours so much energy, trial and error, gain you potentially tons of traffic, business growth, leads, and even potentially sales. Would that be okay with you guys? Let me know in the, in the chat. I just want to make sure that that would be okay. Okay. Awesome. Let's go for it. So to give you guys some of the results of people who have implemented my process, even beyond this webinar, Stephanie hit 15,000 followers for her lifestyle and mom blog. Who here wants that kind of result? Tiffany is a coach. She closed a 4K coaching client for a total of $14,000 in revenue directly from TikTok. Teresa is a Pinterest manager who generates one to three good client leads every single week directly from TikTok. And Stephanie with a PH has an e-com store that is doing five figures directly from TikTok. And she's generating 20 free email subscribers per day. Who here wants a piece of this content? On a month where I am being lazy on TikTok these days, I'm generating nine to 15,000 clicks through to my different offers, lead magnets, trainings, et cetera. On a good month, I'm generating for free from TikTok 30 to 52,000 link clicks. If anyone's ever run traffic, by the way, who here knows that's worth its weight in gold? That is a lot of money worth of traffic. Drop a yes in the chat if you know that to be true. So we put together an entire program for you guys so you can replicate these results. And are you guys ready for it? It is called the Talk Academy. We've put in there TikTok traffic secrets, TikTok lead generation, TikTok from A to Z, all the how-tos, the tutorials you could ever need, including every simple little thing and complex tutorials for those of you who want to take it to a new level. I've put together my TikTok marketing ecosystem training so you can learn how to plug TikTok in at the beginning of your business, the front end of your entire marketing ecosystem to generate leads, sales, traffic, and opportunities. Remember, this is where I secured a five-figure uh, consulting client and a six-figure consulting client directly from. And in fact, I didn't even share this. I was sponsored by American Express and Square because they found me on TikTok. We cover every single thing in TikTok A to Z, including lip syncing, basic transitions, uh, advanced strategies for videos. If you want to take it to a new level, every single thing you could possibly want to know. We put in there TikTok monetization. TikTok for introverts, who here's an introvert, by the way, or maybe you're shy, little nerdy, overthink everything, sound familiar? We put in an entire module to support you with mindset, confidence, success on TikTok. We also put in plug and play templates for TikTok, scripts, and 300 plus 
TikTok content ideas, as well as an entire training on how to create your plan for an entire year's worth of TikTok content in just a few hours for the entire year. We have diamond TikTok content strategies, TikTok inspiration for every single industry, TikTok management, as well as the talk private community where every single week I give you suggestions, ideas, tips, and what is working today. And actually, I haven't even shared this before, but very soon we're going to be creating a Talk Academy only private podcast where I share everything that's working in real time only for Talk Academy students. Who here says yes, please? So we put all of these things together for you guys. Now, I also put together some fast action takers bonuses because I know that you guys are going to need support on the next few steps. Who here says yes? We put together a TikTok success path to help keep you focused, celebrate your wins, a guided set of milestones. Who wants that? We put together a script for filling your webinars and your and uh, yeah, filling your webinars with templated scripts and processes to generate leads for your master classes, webinars, trainings, all of the, the above using only TikTok. This is how I've generated anywhere from 200 to 512 leads for webinars consistently, 100% for free. I love the number seven. Seven's a great number. Um, we also put together for you guys TikTok cha-ching checklist. So you can easily print this out, keep it by where you record, and it's gonna help you with formatting your bio, the steps to take when you're posting a TikTok video and going live on TikTok so you never second guess yourself or the process. And we added a fast action bonus. So the first 50 people are going to get my entire course on how to build your email list for free, the list building party. Now, question for you guys. If you were able to get a free traffic source to replace Facebook ads, would this be worth it for you? or to replace the potential of having free traffic sources. If you were able to save hundreds in marketing, hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, hundreds of hours, would it be worth it for you? And if you were able to grow your YouTube channel, your Instagram and other social media platforms, including your email list for free using this, who here says it would be worth it? Now, I had two choices with this to make all of this super cheap, but then I wouldn't be as incentivized to continually add more like the Talk Academy exclusive podcast to keep showing up in the Talk Academy uh, student only member community to keep adding more. And in fact, you guys, last night we put the finishing touches. The Talk Academy is brand new and updated in every single lesson and module. As of last night, it is all 1000% up to date. So we decided to price it just a little bit higher so that I'm incentivized to add more and you're incentivized to take action. Few more results. Um, but all of this is available for $9.97. So we're going to go ahead and share the link to get that. Make sure to jump on in as one of the first 50 so you guys get uh, those fast action bonuses so that you have the ability to uh, jump on in and take action. But Sandy is a service provider and she got a 6K sale with 60,000 in back end revenue. Jamie hit 80,000 followers after just four months on TikTok. And Larissa, I could talk about Larissa all day. I'm obsessed with her. She's getting three to 10 leads per week and built her entire business directly from TikTok. Now, one thing that is also beautiful about the Talk Academy is that that is not an annual expense. It's for the lifetime of the program. That means that everyone who is in the Talk Academy 1.0 just got the Talk Academy 2.0 as a free upgrade. They were grandfathered into all of these changes. But if you sign up now, you're also going to get those fast action bonuses, which is really, really, really exciting, as well as here are several more bonuses that I want to share with you guys that are inside of this program. So I will drop all of those details. The first 50 people to jump on in are going to get, of course, the list building party for free. Who here says, yep, this is me. I need this. 
There is direct support inside of the Talk Academy, not one-on-one -on -one support. That's what people pay me five to six figures for. If I did that for $9.97, I wouldn't have any time and I wouldn't be able to run my agency or ever see my kids. But I'm inside of that academy several times a week, as well as everyone else inside of the Talk Academy. By the way, question, show of hands, who's already in the Talk Academy? Who has joined it previously? Who's jumping into the 2.0 for the first time and you're excited? Drop a yes in the chat. And if you are going to jump on in to the Talk Academy, drop a yes in the chat. Who here is so excited about this? Now, I want to answer for a couple of different industries because I think that this is so important. Go ahead and share what is your industry in the chat, and I'll let you know whether or not realistically TikTok works for your industry. There are some industries that's not recommended for. So let's go ahead and talk about this. Number one, not sure if it would be helpful for a real estate agent. Well, only if you like leads, growth, traffic, eyeballs, and potential opportunities for partnership, sponsorship, and clients. Did you catch the hint there? It's absolutely helpful for a real estate agent. There are several real estate agents that are crushing it on TikTok right now, but there's not a ton of them because your competitors are having the same uh, skeptical fear of, is this even going to work as you are? So those who are on this platform are growing by hundreds of thousands of followers, even just in the last three months. It's wild to see. All right. What other industries do we have? And if you jump on in, say yes, so we can celebrate you. If you are a part of the Talk Academy already or you've been in this program, drop a yes in the chat. We're going to have some fun here. OK, let's go ahead and talk about these. We have different industries. We have. OK, before we talk about these different industries, I'm going to make sure you guys get your bonuses that I promised just for attending. So we created the email list TikTok Blitz. So you guys can actually use this script in order to build your email list directly using TikTok. We also created 20 minutes to TikTok success, which is a behind the scenes look at batching and the workflow of it. So you guys get those bonuses just for attending. And I'm gonna drop those in the chat right here, right now, which is awesome. And then we're gonna dive into Q&A in just a moment, cool? All right. And my team, if you see questions on Facebook or YouTube that you think would be good, can you drop them in the chat on this uh, Zoom platform so I can make sure to answer them? All right. Let's go ahead and dive on into the different industries. OK, so MLM, there is a workaround to use MLM uh, rather to market your MLM uh, program, your network marketing uh, on TikTok, and we actually created what that bridge looks like inside of the Talk Academy 2.0 with examples of how you can use TikTok as a network marketer without getting in trouble on the platform. All of that is inside of the Talk Academy. Nonprofit, absolutely yes. Travel, oh my gosh, get on this platform ASA, 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 ASAP. It is so good for travel. Skincare, yes, absolutely yes. Ethical skincare, especially yes. Artisan soap maker. We actually have examples of how to show your artisan boutique your e-commerce products behind the scenes. And I give you guys great examples of how to crush it on TikTok. Life insurance. I'm going to say that it's possible, but it's not going to be as easy without showcasing something different. If you're just trying to sell policies from TikTok, it's not going to be the right platform for you unless you are really good at creating basically like mini webinars that talk more about beliefs versus just selling policies. So I'm going to say it depends on how much you're invested. I don't know that life insurance would be the best thing um, for this platform. Graphic designer. Yes, absolutely. Yes. We actually have specific examples, inspiration and case studies of graphic designers, service providers, marketers, freelancers and agencies crushing it. Personal growth. Oh my gosh. Yes, please, please, please. Yes. Debt elimination. Yes. These videos go viral all the time, bringing in tons of qualified leads. Oh my gosh, debt elimination, yes. Travel, yes. Chronic illness, apparel shop. I think so. Yes, there's a huge um, community for people who struggle with chronic illness. So yes. Real estate, yes. Skincare and beauty, absolutely yes. Mental health, yes, but you have to be careful. So we put together the things that can help you to create content and avoid getting the, the shadow ban or uh, having your videos taken down. We actually created an entire list of TikTok trigger words that you can avoid, especially in the mental health space, so that that way you don't find yourself struggling. Okay, let me take a big old sip of water. By the way, quick question for you guys. Who got value today? 
drop a yes in the chat. I want to make sure that I brought the heat for you, that you see the opportunity. You're excited about this. You got to kind of see how I teach, how I show up. It's 110% all the time. Awesome. Okay. Jewelry. Yes. I actually just bought four rings from a jewelry business on TikTok the other day. And then I duetted them and then they sold out, which is kind of fun. Meteorologist. Wait, is this the Joel Young? Hold on, Joel. Are you the Joel that is on TikTok and is taking dares from people? I, if so, I, I yeah, it has to be. I love your content. I love your content. Fidget toys. Yes. Fitness Pilates. Yes. We talked about MLM already. Local milk sales. It's possible for local business. I don't, that one's going to be a little challenging unless you focus on the customer service side of it, of how, uh, how it's a cool opportunity, how it's an old fashioned touch in your life. You're going to have to go a little intense into why this solves a problem. It's going to be a little challenging though, Allie, I'll be honest, that one's challenging, but once you hit the right market and I would test everything until you get it, once you get the right market, people will be like, this is nostalgia. This is amazing. Okay. Wellness. Yes. Sales and marketing. Yes. Social media marketing. Yes. We have examples of all of these inside the talk Academy sales coaching. Yes. Travel agent. Absolutely. Yes. Personal development. Yes. Nonprofit. Yes. T-shirts, yes, if you follow my examples and inspiration inside of the Talk Academy specifically for e-commerce and boutiques, I would use those too. Let's see, we've got life coaching, yes. Network marketing, yes, with the workarounds I teach. Social media manager, nonprofit, yes, yes. Luxury whiskey, ooh, that one would be really fun. Womb healing, yes. I was actually just thinking about that the other day. That's actually kind of wild. Um, yes, e-commerce web designer, creating turnkey drop shipping stores. Yes, absolutely. Career tips and coding, especially yes. Makeup artists, especially yes. Travel, yes. Bakery, yes. And we have examples of how local businesses and brick and mortar locations can crush it. Pediatric occupational therapist, yes. And I could see it bringing you opportunities for speaking, writing a book, um, I didn't even share this, you guys. Did you know that since TikTok has gone, um, TikTok has opened some wild doors for me, um, but also for other people. With TikTok's help, I shared that I was writing a book on TikTok and an executive from HarperCollins reached out and said, we want to talk to you. We want first dibs on this. We want to see your proposal, all of that. And because of that, I can't say who it is yet because we're signing the contract next week, but the publisher that I am signing the contract with, they wanted to talk to me and I just signed my dream book deal because of the chain events of events that occurred from TikTok. So there could be book deal opportunities, sponsorships, partnerships, speaking opportunities that could also come besides the boost into your business. Self-help books for teens, heck yes, and both. Absolutely both. Operations specialist, social media management, yes. Travel, yes. Life insurance and mortgages, only if you know how to reverse engineer it. I would recommend reading the book um, Expert Secrets if you want to sell any kind of life insurance because life insurance by itself is really not super exciting. If you can reverse engineer the beliefs that you need to change in order to sell someone life insurance, absolutely yes. Okay, I'm seeing all kinds of great opportunities. Ice cream shop. Oh my goodness. Yes. I love ice cream. Career coach. Yes. Beauty. Yes. Health and wellness. Yes. Jingles and theme songs. Absolutely. Yes. You know, so many people's careers and uh, platform has been skyrocketed because of TikTok. Like Lil Nas X built on Twitter and TikTok. Um, that's why Old Town Road was one of the biggest songs of all time. It was because of the way that they attacked TikTok. And now his latest song um, call me by your name or Montero has crushed it because of TikTok. Travel agent, yes. Nonprofit, yes. Bakery, yes. Ruby ribbon bra replacement items, yes. Absolutely. Real estate agents, yes. Spiritual social media manager, I like that combo, yes. Baby wear, yes. Graphic design for textile, yes. Nonprofit, yes. Children's cancer charity, oh, yes. That's amazing. Low. If you have not yet purchased the Talk Academy, 
can you send a private message to me here? And we are going to sponsor you because what you're doing is changing the world. We're going to sponsor you in the Talk Academy. Send my team the details by sending me a private message here. So it just says Rachel Peterson, um, because you guys need to get awareness out about what you do. You deserve that platform. So we are just going to take care of that for your company. Okay. Let's keep going. Financial education. Yes. Party plan company. Intimacy and pleasure coach. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would crush it. We've got e-commerce, badge reel for nurses, teachers, essential employees. Yes. I'm not a knowledge person. I just want to sell funny t-shirts. I'm probably your ideal buyer. T-shirts are my favorite thing to wear. So, yes. Travel agent. Yes. About audio content, yes. Life coach, yes. Skin care, yes. Artists, yes. Curious how I can do so as a meteorologist. Um, you need to build your platform to the point where you're at like the, where uh, space, what is it? Space gal is that? And build a platform that sets you up. So you can build the no like trust, the likability factor, and you can either sell something on the back end, like a course for how to go after your dreams. You could create a merch shop. You could, I mean, all of those work. But I would probably focus on building your platform, Joel, to the point where you create the opportunity and the demand for you to get any job you want um, as a meteorologist or an anchor, um, build up the opportunity for like TED Talks, speaking gigs, book deals. Like people don't realize how lucrative all of those things are. They are wild. All right. Plastic free skincare. Yes. Lettering art. Yes. Nonprofit. Yes. Affiliate marketing. Yes. I don't know if you guys have seen Adrian's crushing it. It's awesome. He's crushing it on TikTok. Debt elimination. Yes. WordPress and email organization. Yes. SMM for mental health coach. Yes. Health and wellness. Yes. Makeup. Yes. Travel. By the way, who hears like, I'm going to do this for my clients. I'm going to secure a bunch of clients on TikTok. Some of you guys. Oh yeah, baby. This is fun. I'll let you guys know if I see any that aren't a great fit. Oh, costume and design and cosplay. Yes. Merchant services, credit card processing, and point of sale services or systems. Yes. POS for the win, baby. Okay. I'm going to say yes to music teacher, auto detailing services. Yes. Web development via WordPress and email organization. Yeah, absolutely. Custom products, fitness, t-shirts, makeup, sweets. Yes, 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 yes. Fertility, Reiki, womb healing. Yes. I like how specific that got. Vegan and cruelty free. Yes personal finance. Yes. Career and coding mindset coach. Yes. Woodworking with epoxy. I love watching those. I am definitely on woodworking with epoxy talk where it looks like, you know, there's like the river or the granite, like, yes. Uh, Instagram coach for hairdressers. I love this. Yes. Makeup artist, laser engraving, affiliate marketing. Yes. Does this also cover things if you don't want to show your face. We don't have a module specifically for if you don't want to show your face, but using what we teach inside of the Talk Academy, uh, Jamie, she's elementally, some of you guys have heard of her. She's never once showed her face on TikTok and she built over a million followers in four months from zero to a million followers in four months, built a six figure store on the back end without ever showing her face. Um, insurance policy stories could do great. Yep. If you tap into the emotional side, John, good to see you here. Hey, all right. Golf. Yes. Home inspectors. Yes. Dad and health over 40. Yes. Whole food, dog food. Yes. Yes. Horse industry. Oh, I'm on horse talk. I'm not on dog talk. I'm on horse talk. And I love, I love horse TikTok. Yes, absolutely. Yes. All right. Local milk sales. I think we've got some of these coming again and again. All right. Would you guys, these are all such great questions. Let's answer some questions. Drop your questions in the chat and we will hang out here until my, let's see what time it is. Um, I have cello lessons at one. I will answer questions as long as I can. Okay, you guys ready? Let's dive on into questions. We have got... Grief coaching. Absolutely. Yes. Is group coaching included or an add on purchase for group coaching? I don't do group coaching. I just answer questions in the academy's community. Um, questions don't go unanswered for more than one or two business days ever. But usually the questions are sorry, the answers are pretty quick. I'm not someone that just like welcomes people and then disappears for a month. If I'm going to be gone for a week, I usually let people know or have someone take over for me. Okay. 
Um, but I don't have group coaching. My only coaching and mentorship with more of a one-on-one -on -one or super intimate feel where I take a whole look at your business is the social click. Um, I love the social click, but I there's a specific type of business that I know how to support with scaling. And that's the type of business I scaled with my agency. How do I reach people that are far away? I'm based in Spain and sell mostly in the United States. Uh, I teach how to adjust the location, but you're gonna do this mostly with um, who you interact with who you follow, who you connect with, the way that you do the TikTok triage, and by using hashtags and language that speaks to people in the United States. For example, I can do a TikTok that reaches um, Honduras just by intentionally reaching Honduras. It's wild. Can you do more than one area using one account? You can. Yes, I actually don't teach niching the way that other people do. I believe we're all multi-passionate, multi-faceted, and I think you can focus on all of those things. What happens if you change your frequency from five per day to like two per day? Is there a penalty? There's not, but you will notice that if you reduce your frequency, you're going to see less reach and less snowball of growth. So I recommend staying at like two per day instead of spiking up to five. Just stay at two and stay sustainable at your frequency. What are your thoughts on the creator fund? I've tested being in it and I've tested not being in it. Um, I'm personally of the mindset that getting paid to create content can change the way that you look at creating content. So I'm a big believer in being the one who's in control of what happens with your views, your account, the monetization, et cetera. So I'm not the world's biggest fan of Creator Fund. I'm not against it, but I personally teach people to not necessarily re rely on that. If you want to, that's fine, but I don't recommend it. What software are you using to post and repost evergreen posts? On TikTok, it's, it's uh, in the app. Everything is posted in the app, which is kind of cool. If I'm targeting corporate con uh, contacts or clients, Nonprofit orgs in particular, are they on TikTok? Well, let's take a look. Let's find out. Let's see. Nonprofit. Let's see who's on here. Nonprofit. Well, there's 73.5 million views on just the hashtag nonprofit. Nonprofit owner brings there's some people here this is really cool 4700 that's pretty cool but nonprofit has millions of views nonprofits of tiktok nonprofit organization nonprofit life nonprofit startup nonprofit who reorganized they should probably not use that um hashtag because who reorganized doesn't look like who reorganize. Okay. Awesome. Let's keep going. TikTok would be great for you. Absolutely. Yes. Is fitness or recipe cookie, uh, sorry, recipes and cooking a more profitable niche? Um, any niche can be a profitable niche. Any niche, any business can be profitable. The question is, are you going to work the leads you get? So if the answer is yes, you can build a very successful business in fitness or in recipes or in cooking. All of those can work. I know friends who have become multimillionaires in each and every one of those niches. Is it all recorded or any part live interaction? It helps to have live interaction, but you don't have to. A lot of people don't. How do I transition from a personal account to business focused? You can either use your existing um, profile and just start, or if you want you can create a new profile. It depends on what you want. It depends on if you want your personal life private at all. Is there a trial period to the academy? Nope, I already know it's great. I already know that it delivers on everything I promise. No trial period. How do I, let's see, business account versus creator. Both work and there's actually a time to use both. And it all depends on the number of followers you have, the goals that you have. And I break down when to use a business account and when to use a creator account. But the answer is both. Um, in the chat or in the Q&A box? Oh, good question. You can ask your questions in the chat here. Is there a payment plan option? Yes, there is. Team, can you guys drop the value stack so everyone can see all of the amazing things that are in this offer and the link to the Talk Academy, please, on each platform? 
We went viral in March with 1 million views and created 60K in revenue. What can we do to keep the momentum? First and foremost, congratulations. That's so great. Uh, I would follow exactly the way that I teach to do TikTok in order to break through a plateau. How many hashtags are appropriate to use per video? The max that you can fit and the way that I teach um, hashtags is very easy. We actually have an entire expanded hashtag bank with every single industry inside of the TikTok, I'm sorry, inside of the Talk Academy. And all of those have been researched to be niched down so that you can just plug and play a bunch of hashtags there. How do you follow up on a lead? Um, first and foremost, that's a really good question. And that's deeper than TikTok. Check out the book Fanatical Prospecting by Jeb Blount. Fanatical Prospecting by Jeb Blount is going to give you the answers that you're looking for. Following up with a lead is reaching out, connecting, asking for their email, emailing them, nurturing them, telling them stories, trying new angles. That's way deeper than TikTok. How many hashtags? Oh, we already answered that. I really want to move away from small business, but I don't have another niche. Any advice on choosing one? Yeah, go business. Just business. Would you delete and start a new profile if nothing's happening? No, nope, I wouldn't. My profile, nothing happened for the first three months. Yeah, and it was all fine. It didn't jeopardize anything. Okay, TikTok is starting to open up three minute videos to some creators. I have those available, by the way. Are short videos still the best or one minute explainer training videos helpful? The way that I teach in the Talk Academy is to master 15 second videos before you move to sec, uh, 60 second videos. I would absolutely not create three minute videos unless you already have a track record for success, like massive success on YouTube, because audience retention through a three minute TikTok is much more challenging and that gets way more in depth into how the algorithm works. So I recommend starting with up to 15 second videos, keeping them short and then moving up to up to 60 second videos. All right, do you recommend, um, sorry, Rob, as a lettering artist, I have a hard time keeping new viewers engaged when doing a customer request. Keep it shorter, make it seven seconds, eight seconds, less than 15 seconds. Don't show the whole process, show tidbits. And I give you examples of how to do that in the Talk Academy. Do you recommend one account or multiple accounts? I produce products, but I also design for others who produce products. Those could both go on the same account. Do both of those on the same account because it's going to bring in similar audiences, if that makes sense. How do you convert from TikTok? Um, I teach all of that in the Talk Academy. It's a combination of generating leads, nurturing leads, offering sales, and then building your entire marketing ecosystem. How to get content pushed to those 30 plus hashtags or no hashtags, 90% of my content gets pushed to kids. Um, don't worry about the kids. The kids are awesome. The kids are future buyers, but you need to use hashtags that bring in your right market. But then also your content has to be geared towards an older audience. Some people are creating very juvenile or childish feeling content without realizing it. Like I sometimes accidentally default to that. So when my audience skews a little younger, I just remember, oh yeah, I'm being kind of a little more childish with my content creation lately and it's not relating to parents. I make funny and relatable content. I don't know what to sell. Would love examples and suggestions. I'll be honest with you. Um, I can give you a few examples, but the Talk Academy is not for you if you don't have a business or don't like the business ideas that I'm sharing. It is not a business opportunity. It is for people who have businesses um, because if you have never been a business owner and you're trying to become a business owner for the first time at the same time, that's a totally different experience. So it is for people who own, run, operate market businesses. Um, but you could do March, you could make money on live streams, you could create a physical product store, you could have a course, you could have tripwires, bundles, uh, PDFs, packets, all of the above. But I do not teach how to decide a business and start a business. I teach how to amplify a business with TikTok. What's the best way to get people to go from TikTok to your YouTube or opt-in page? Well, there's several different ways. There's direct response. Your YouTube can be connected to your TikTok profile. You can do trailer videos, all of the above. Do you think it will work in a small country like Italy? Target e-commerce and clothing stores? Yes. I have one follower. 
literally just got started. What's the first step to take? Go back to step number two that I shared in this program or in this uh, entire training today and follow those steps. Um, Ellie asks, is there a best time to post content? With a, con with a platform where the viral potential is weeks, months, years, while there are technically best times based on when your followers are engaged, good content always performs regardless of the time. Focus more on creating good content than on when to post and you'll be amazed at the results. What type of content would be good for the luxury whiskey brand cocktails talk through of product? I would do a combination of what I shared in step two, which is that evergreen content that talks about like just education of whiskey as a whole, what makes whiskey luxury, what why some whiskey tastes better than others. Um, but if it is a luxury brand, you're going to want to make sure that your videos have a luxury feel. I'd recommend using like a nicer iPhone to record your videos. Like this is the, I think 11, might be the 12, but this has a better recording feel. But if you're luxury, you wanna feel luxury in the videos. What was the pricing again? Could someone type that out? Um, I'll let you guys take it from there. All right, we have keep on going, keep on going. Do you recommend to build funnels or nurturing before posting or create the background as you post to the front end? Build up the pressure on the front end as you build up the back end. You'll never be sad that you built the platform. You can just plug on the black the, the back end as soon as it's ready. The creative process. The creative process. So because I teach it in a way where you don't always have to be creative. And if you want to get creative every single week, I actually give you the 10 trends that are the easiest for you to try if you want to. So in the talk Academy student, uh, student community, I literally go in and share trends every single Monday, um, except when I'm traveling or if I'm sick. So I want to put that out there. I travel like once a month. So I drop the trends for you guys to support you if you want to get creative. But the truth is, you guys, the creative process is uh, the creative process is just about doing the work. And I'm just going to be honest about that. Hey, team, can you guys drop the uh, the everything that's included in the Talk Academy on all platforms as well as the link to jump on in? This is so exciting. We're having so much fun. Who's so excited, you guys? Who's walking away with tons of value? Who's going to be jumping on TikTok pretty soon here? I'm so excited. All right. We have do no, no, do you pay for followers? Don't pay for followers. I don't pay for followers. Don't pay for followers. How do we find influencers to promote my products? I find it super hard on TikTok. Um, I actually have one more lesson to teach with that, that I was considering adding. I will add that within, I only took a deep breath because I just recorded all of the tick all of the talk academy 2.0 but i do need to add one more lesson and i know you guys need it so how to find influencers will be added within the next two weeks and how to contact influencers will be added within the next two weeks once i get a, a chance to take a deep breath okay let's keep on going great questions great questions can you see who sees your tiktoks you cannot do you pay for followers on business accounts? Nope. How would marketing my diversity editor services work by going after indie authors? Well, there's a really popular like author um, author talk. So if we just do author talk, I like author talk. They're really fun. Um, there's 140 million views. Author TikTok, 3.9 million views. Book talk author, 600 thousand views and now let's do indie author indie author has 9.5 million views indie authors has 1.1 million views this platform's gonna work for you let's keep on going keep on going number one do you accept everyone as friends how do you know whose stories are real or fake well i mean it's tough so bridget number one you don't have to accept everyone as friends you have followers and then you have following I personally like to follow anyone that I find interesting. So I follow 7,800 people, which is a high number. I like to do that. Um, I have 833,000 followers. The majority of your followers are not going to be people that you also follow. And you don't know whose stories are real or fake. But here's a big hint. If someone is always telling tragic stories or they're involved in a lot of the drama on TikTok, 
I'm just going to tell you guys, that's a red flag for me. It always is. I stay out of the drama on TikTok intentionally. Um, if someone's always telling tons of really tragic stories or dramatic stories, they're probably, it might be true, but they're doing a lot of it for the views. And you could probably tell, I don't, that's not really my style. So I just avoid the people who do that. Is it better or easier to use TikToks to make videos directly or use a third party app? It is better and easier to make your TikToks directly in TikTok. And I teach you how to use other platforms if you would like to use different apps or software, but go ahead and feel free to also um, try it for yourself and see the workflows that I share. The fastest, easiest workflow is recording directly in TikTok. So just a heads up there. All right. Have you got stats from accounts who only do evergreen TikToks, people who have never done dancing or lip syncing to get started building a following? I could put one together. In the next two weeks, I will add um, what that looks like inside of the Talk Academy. So people who never do trends. Um, but in elementally never does lip syncing. She never shows her face. She never does um, dancing at all. And she has over a million views and built a six figure e-commerce store from TikTok. So I will add in the case studies and inspiration, people who never do trends. Cool with that. And in case you guys haven't noticed anyone who's ever learned from me before, who here knows that I continually keep adding. So when I say I'm going to do something, I keep adding more, keep adding more value, keep updating things, keep sharing more, keep giving you more resources. That's how I operate always. So for the people in the Talk Academy, I will over deliver over and over and over and over again. I promise. All right. Tiffany Bank says, can you tell us anything about the TikTok hashtag strategy? Yes. Niche down your hashtags. Niche them down way more than you think you need to. And then I have... Um, the entire process in the Talk Academy, including the niche down TikTok hashtag bank. So pretty cool, right? What software? Oh, we've already answered that. Is it helpful to use TikTok's trending hashtags and sounds even if they're not related to your content? Uh, that's a gaming the system methodology. Well, that can work. It's better to just learn how to create great content. I know some TikTok experts say like, use the trending hashtags. Don't just use the trending hashtags. Takes. Don't just use the trending sounds like have an actual follow the strategies I teach and you'll build a more sound brand. All right. Business or personal accounts for, biz for businesses. Actually, I'm going to go option C and option A. So you're going to toggle back and forth between business and creator based on what I teach in the talk academy. Hades from Honduras. So cool. My husband's from Honduras. So kind of neat. Any software to schedule posts. TikTok actually has um, the ability to schedule posts inside of their desktop, but it's not great. I almost never wear makeup. Do I need to put makeup on for my TikToks? No, but I am going to give you this heads up. Okay, so this, can I just be super like ugh, for a moment with you guys? So I'm a no makeup person. I love wearing no makeup. I like to wear my hair in a bun with all my hair slicked back. I like to wear sweats. Um, one of the things that is really frustrating at times is that we've split test content in makeup and hair done versus content with no makeup and hair not done. And all of our content always performs better when I have makeup on and my hair done. And so it's tough because part of me is like, oh, but I don't want to wear makeup. You don't need to wear makeup, but I have learned that when I look my best, it drastically improves how my content performs. And can I be really honest about this, you guys? It drives me crazy that that's how we are as a society. It drives me crazy. I would love to not wear makeup. All right, let's keep answering questions. Do posting times matter? Not with the strategies that I teach. Um, maybe posting at a certain time could get like a tiny little hiccup of more activity, but not as much as you would think. Okay. My fifth video went viral. Congrats! 3 million views and 8,900 followers. It was for a foster dog. Not my intention to use my dog for that. So what do I do from here? Start a new account? What do I do with my current account? Just keep using the growth that you had. People will come for your virals and stay for your consistent content. So great. Okay. Mark says, if I were, if you, if you, if I were going to set up a business and sell any product today on TikTok, what would it be? Oh my gosh, I would do 
meal planners, systems for moms, hacks for moms, not couponing, I would do, yep, that's what I would do. I think that would be so fun. The second one that I do have to say, and that I feel this call every so often to like pull me back into hair, I would do extensions, hair extensions. It's so fun. They're so fun. I don't have them. My hair is natural. Even when my hair is down to my waist, my hair is natural. But I love giving other people that dramatic transformation because it's really fun. It's wild too. Do you, let's see, let's keep on going. Um, you don't have to wear makeup, but it's just one of those annoying things with just like everything else. Ugh, drives me crazy, you guys. All right, keep on going, keep on going. If you have a super niche down product is doing TikToks, asking your target market what they'd like to see, effective or cringy? Cringy, 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 cringy. Most of the time asks are a little bit cringy. I'm sorry, it just is. I still do it though. I don't mind being a little cringy. How about mixing two languages in one count account? I recently saw someone doing this really well where they were speaking in English and their captions were in Spanish. And you guys, it was awesome to see. Hey team, can you guys drop two things? One, can you drop the bonuses for the people who stayed until the end? So just to make sure that everybody gets them and they don't forget those. And then also drop everything that's in the TikTok Academy and the link, drop them on all platforms. Amazing, amazing. Okay, what are the three things you mentioned for helping with TikTok hashtags? I don't think I did. Oh, uh, the TikTok hashtag bank inside of the TikTok Academy, sorry, the Talk Academy. Uh, number two, niching down your hashtags. And number three, use the maximum number of hashtags. What do you think of Snapchat? I use it a little. Um, we don't use it a lot. We do use it a little. I'll pull it up and see. We just repurpose my TikToks on to uh, Snapchat. And we reach, let's see how many we reach. I have no idea. I haven't checked it lately. We reach... Hundreds of thousands of people. That's kind of cool. I have 793 followers. So we just kind of use it a little. Should I have a lead magnet email program set up before starting TikTok? Do TikTok first. Because you'll be amazed by the questions people ask and it'll inspire lead magnets. All right. How many bonuses, team? How many bonuses do we have left of the list building party for the first 50 people? Because I know it's going to be gone soon. Wendy says, what if internet service is not reliable where your business is located? Do you recommend any services? Um, I would recommend batching your content in a place where internet service is reliable. Should I use my business name as my TikTok name? Yeah, go for it. I personally put personal and business together, but you have to make that decision for yourself. There's not a right or a wrong with that. Okay, let's keep on going. How many bonuses do we have left for the first 50 people who joined the TikTok Academy? Go ahead and drop those, you guys. Drop the link so that people can grab the List Building Academy before we leave for the day. Um, I Let's see. What else? What else? If I have a social media marketing agency and I want to target small product-based businesses to start out, what kind of content can I create? Go back to step two of this entire training. And then if you're in the Talk Academy, I give you specific examples of lead generating content. Um, Alyssa says, would it be better to create a product to link to on TikTok before you start creating TikToks or to point to that or to point to that product? Um, if you already know what kind of product you want to create, create TikToks in the meantime and then tack it on to your audience once it's finished. Please, can I benefit from the bonus if you jump on in? Absolutely. Jesse's in. Congrats. Anita says, what do you do if you or sorry, what if you do to Two different businesses. Should I focus on one? Um, if you have two different businesses, what I would recommend is testing them both on the same profile and see what works. All right, let's see. Marissa says, not sure why, but I cannot find the link to payment plans. So, hey team, can you send it directly to Marissa so that she has it? Okay. Um, is there a direct link to the Talk Academy? Team, can you guys drop it to make sure everyone has it? It is VTOK Academy, VTOK Academy.com. All right. English is not my first language, but I do live in an English speaking country. How are accents an issue? Should I just go with my native language? Um, 
oh, accents aren't an issue. I follow people with accents all the time. My, the truth is, you guys, anyone who judges you for having an accent when you're speaking a language that is not your native language, that person has no business being a part of your marketing ecosystem. You can't judge people for having accents. I would say speak in whatever language you're most comfortable in. Um, let's see, PayPal had me check out twice and they both went through. Uh, team, can you guys connect with Lauren uh, Garofalo in the chat? Is it Garofalo or Garofalo? I had a, a drama teacher named Garofalo. Is it Garofalo for you? I hope I didn't mispronounce your last name. I have a bakery that sells cakes and then we have a cake academy where we sell training. This would crush it. Just do the one for both audiences. Amazing, amazing. Okay, does changing my account from a personal account to a creator account hurt things like views? Nope, nope. I personally love the creator account and then the business account has its use too. Will this recording be posted on your YouTube? Um, for a little bit, yeah, for sure. Is it helpful to use TikTok trending hashtags and sounds muted? Um, I don't like that strategy. Some people teach that, but that's not actually teaching a great content strategy. That's just a little hack that at some point won't have any benefit. The business account only lets you use music for commercial use, which is not the trendy music. I teach you how to navigate this inside of the Talk Academy. Um, Krista says, I'm a health consultant for autoimmune and help people to get moving again. I do health movement posts using dance trends. People are more drawn to dance lessons. What is the best way to monetize? Ooh, could you create um, like a 14 day training for health and movement using dance? So dance lessons for people with autoimmune and mobility issues. I think that could be really cool. Do you recommend to build funnels and nurturing before posting? Oh, we've already answered that. How do you repurpose TikToks for YouTube? So YouTube Shorts opened up the perfect opportunity for all of us to repurpose TikToks onto YouTube, or at least some of your TikToks. And I talk you through what guidelines you need to follow there, as well as how to remove the watermarks, et cetera. You can check that out inside of the Talk Academy. Okay, is the Academy all self-watching or do you have a live portion of it in the Facebook group? We do occasional calls to meet up with everyone from the Talk Academy, which is kind of fun. Um, and then there is live interaction, but all of the actual program are all watched at your own pace. They're in bite size, no fluff trainings. Sometimes they're one minute up to five minutes. Some of them are a little bit longer um, based on how short I could make them and still get the point across, but you can watch it on your own schedule, which is awesome. Okay, let's keep answering questions. Do you have an affiliate program for the Talk Academy? We do, we do. For members of the Talk Academy, we have an affiliate program, which is kind of fun. Uh, Shea says, do you recommend two accounts? I just want to have fun sometimes and I have a hard time making it valuable, this business content, and sometimes I don't want to look professional. Um, if you have a different persona outside of business, create two accounts, one for fun, but just remember that nothing's ever private on a personal account. Will this work with a mobile head lice removal solution? Everyone gets the heebie-jeebies about lice. Yes, please do this. Um, when our family got lice, I was so stressed about it, but now that I know that most families experience lice at some point, it's like, so it's... Ugh. That content makes me feel like not such a bad parent. Does that make sense? Like one of my kids tried on a hat. So you could answer the questions from step two, the FAQs that you get. How do people look at lice? How do you get rid of lice? Does, um, what is it? It's, is it called NYX? I think, does that work? Uh, oh, answer all those questions. I think it would do well because any parent who's been a parent for any amount of time knows that license is inevitable. All right. I have a brick and mortar medical aesthetics. Should my account be under my personal name or my business name? It depends. Is your business, what do you want to build? Your personal brand where you could build multiple businesses underneath it, or do you want to build up this particular business? That's how I would decide. Cool, cool. I go between my full name and my shorter name, Jacqueline Ernst versus Jack Ernst. I feel like the longer version is more professional thoughts. Do the name you want. I know this is kind of interesting, but sometimes so many people preach to go professional, 
that we forget to be ourselves. So you pick, which one do you love? Go with it. It doesn't matter. Kind of fun, right? Some freedom there. Does TikTok expose my content only to people in my country? Initially, yes. And I teach you how to break through that initial step if you want, or if you want to maximize that and use it for staying local, go for it. Just signed up. Welcome, Melanie. So exciting. Jackie's in. So great. Tiffany, how do you know what qualifies as good content? Actually, I think I still have this. Let me see if I still have, have um, from the training on algorithm. Okay. I'm going to pull this out. I recorded the trainings on the algorithm about good content and how your market and your audience and your results teach you what is good content based on what gets results, which is really cool. The market will tell you, which is awesome. Okay. How about using more than one language in one account? You can. You totally can. There's nothing against it. Uh, what kind of content would I make for my apparel store? I make relatable videos for people living with chronic illness, but I don't know how to bridge them to buying from my store. I'm going to be honest. I'm willing to bet that if you jumped into the talk Academy within three months, you'd be like, yep, absolutely the best decision I made because what I teach for e-commerce for physical products, for retail, for, uh, brick and mortar locations for apparel is going to be a game changer. Like, just follow everything that I teach there. Okay. Welcome, Jessica. So exciting. Mark says, are there minutes of this meeting to print or save? No. <laughs> no. Joe says, are there any restrictions or low views when changing to a creator account? I do not plan on joining the creator fund. I have not seen any restrictions from creator accounts, but there are some benefits to being a business account for certain times. Okay, for those of you asking if there is a replay, yes, there is. Hey team, can you guys drop um, the entire offer as well as the link to join for those who are like, I wanna jump on in? Yes, there is a payment plan. We take credit card, we also take PayPal, and it'll be awesome because you guys will get pretty darn near immediate access to both the program as well as the student community. How about intimacy and pleasure without TikTok taking down my videos for community guidelines? Oh, this is going to be right up your alley. Number one, I added trigger words to avoid. So if you avoid these words in your hashtags, in your content, in your captions, in the text on screen, you're less likely to get flagged. But also there are workarounds. You can uh, kind of hint at something without actually showing it. But there are ways that you can get around it by being a little bit tongue in cheek, which is kind of fun. What do you consider consistent growth? I only get two to three new followers per week right now. It's a fairly new account. Um, well, consistent growth is different for every single person. Two to three new followers doesn't sound like much growth. It's, I mean, you want to see like a little bit of growth, not necessarily linear, linearly, but you want to see that those gains going up and up and up. Cool. Um, but if that's more growth than you've had on other platforms, that counts as growth, but you might want to like get that to 20 to 30 new followers per week. That would be a little more of a steep incline of growth, but remember all growth is growth, which is cool. Should you post around the same time every day? You do not have to. Marissa, welcome. I'm so excited you're in. Jesse's in. Nikki, I'm so excited. Lauren, I'm so happy you're here. You guys, amazing. Melanie says, do we get all upgrades for free in the future for new content added? Yes. Always. For the lifetime of the Talk Academy, you are always grandfathered in to all of the Talk Academy upgrades, additions, everything. I take care of the people who jump in. The earlier you jump in, the more iterations you get, which is kind of cool. What do you mean about sponsorships for real estate agents? You had said, if I, if you understand what I'm saying, just wanted you to expand. Good question. For real estate agents, you can be sponsored by the brands that you work with every single day. You can get sponsorships as a real estate agent. Isn't that wild? I bet you didn't know that. Build your platform and you can get sponsored. All right. Rosie says on the sales page, it says we have access to the Talk Private Academy for three months. We have yet to kick someone out. I reserve the right to have three months. Um, and the reason I have that is because if someone becomes a jerk, 
I want to be able to remove them after three months or even sooner and refund them. So I'm only committing to three months, but everyone who's in has been in since they joined. So we have not yet removed anyone. So as long as it's a win-win relationship and you aren't being just a jerk, you can stay. How cool is that? All right, let's keep on going. Lisa, thank you. Lisa says you look really healthy and fresh. Thank you so, so, so much. That is really kind. Um, Sapria says, I got only one view on my latest video, but I repurposed it on IG Reels and I got over 1K views with it. Any idea what happened here? Yes. I break it down more in the Talk Academy. Content that performs on TikTok may or may not perform on Instagram Reels. Content that performs on Instagram Reels may or may not perform on TikTok. That's why I double down and do as much repurposing as I can. How about copywriting? Yes. Yes. Facebook muted my last TikTok images and video with the sound. There's a reason why. Yeah, there's totally a reason why. That music is not yours to use. So copyrighted music or music with a copyright can't be used on other platforms without sometimes having some issues. Good question. Marissa, you're so kind. Seriously, amazing. You should uh, share that picture of us. You feel free to share it in like the Talk Academy. So wild, those four years ago. Oh my goodness. All right. Yes, you are, Tiffany. I'm so happy you're here with your new username. See, I told you I'd remember this time. Okay. Any affiliate accounts that have been students or accounts that you that you love are having that are having success sharing their products without breaking the rules? Adrian Brambila is crushing it. I'll probably uh, duet him at some point. I actually should see if Adrian wants to be an affiliate for our program because he's just amazing. Um, I have a bakery brand that sells cakes. And then we also have a cake academy. Um, okay, I already answered that one. I think we're good. Probably not travel agent and essential oils on the same account. Yeah, there's not enough overlap there. That feels like two totally different accounts unless you just want to kind of subtly talk about the essential oils or like, here I am you know, on a trip that I recently booked as a travel agent on the beaches of Hawaii and I've got my patchouli oils. Does that make sense? You can do it in a way where it all works, but not always at the same time. Okay. You don't always add music. Who is the person Rachel is mention mentioning who doesn't show her face? Elementally. Elementally. I missed some of these while at the doctor. You may want to watch the replay. All right. Dan says, I already sent you my question. Could you answer it? Um, I've answered as many questions as I can. I don't see a question from you. So can you drop it again in the chat? All right. On TikTok, is the ratio to followers and following the same as other social media platforms? Okay. Can I just tell you guys, one of my biggest pet peeves is when people are like, don't have a high follower following. If you have a high following, you're not cool. Okay. Let's all calm down. This isn't yearbook popularity contest. It's okay to follow a lot of people. And the truth is I have never met someone who said, keep your follower, like following count low that was secure in their lives. And I'm just going to put that out there. I follow who I want, when I want, how I want. Good question. Three to six hashtags are best to max them out. Max them out. Max them out, max them out, max them out. What about lighting? I teach all of that in the Talk Academy. Who here feels like my lighting is perfect? I must be sitting in front of an awesome window. I'm not. This is all artificial. So I break down the best writing. What about dudes? Dudes count too. Um, you don't have to wear makeup as a dude, but some dudes do wear makeup. Okay. Now let's talk about what true viral is. True viral is 10 million reached organically in one week. That is the true media definition of viral. But that's why sometimes I add the word mini viral in. Mini viral is this, a word that I actually created. It means that you meet or reach multiple times your followers in the reach on one piece of content. Okay. My views have went down to double digits from a few viral videos. What's going on? Oh my gosh, Kayla, jump in and do TikTok triage. It is module I think it's module 12. Yeah, I think it's module 12. Let's find out where it is. TikTok triage. Yep, module 12. Whenever you have a viral or whenever you start flopping, go into TikTok triage and it'll get you right back out of there. 
would it be better to create a product to link to on TikTok before you start creating talks to point to that product? You don't have to. You can build your platform. You will never regret building your platform before you create your product. My target audience is women only, but I noticed I get a lot of male views. Yep. Change up your hashtags and change up the way that you're showing up. What hashtags would you use for cosmetics? Um, I'm not going to do the hashtag research for you for here. I like your, I like your candor though. I love that candor. Okay. Is it a big deal if you mix topics? Um, I think it's totally fine. I mix topics. I'm an anti nicher if that makes sense. So I just keep on going how to get art submissions for a magazine. Um, you could literally put out a TikTok to artists. That would be a great way to go about it. I do have an affiliate program. Christy's in. So exciting. Is my program recorded? It's already recorded. It's already loaded. It's already in there. There are around 300 lessons that are all short, bite-sized. You can jump in, take what you want, when you want it, when you need it. Kind of cool. What, uh, I never recommend personal TikToks ever. I always recommend either creator or business. And then the way to toggle back and forth between them, I teach that in the academy. Marissa, totally fine. I'm so happy. Go secure some clients. Crush it. Jay is in. Bonnie's in. I'm so excited. Uh, amazing. Let's keep on going. Real estate. You missed the real estate answer. I, I think we already answered that. I just bought a training program last week and can't do this at the present time. When I'm able, can I join in the future? You can. It, there won't be the same bonuses. So just know that going in. But yes, you can. Who is the Talk Academy best for? It is best for anyone who wants to use TikTok to build a business. So if you want to be a fitness influencer and you want to have programs on the back end, that works. But if someone comes to me and they're like, I make really funny TikToks and I don't have a business and I don't know what to create, it's not a good fit. So if you know what you want to do, if you know you want to have fitness programs, fitness merch, fitness physical products, go for it. But if you don't have any clue and you're like, I want Rachel to tell me what to build, absolutely not. <laughs> that would be what people would charge. I would charge five or six figures for is to tell you exactly what to sell. So let's keep on going. Viani, I'm excited. Welcome. Is one to two new followers a week considered good growth? Um, everything is relative. I would say keep working to create a stronger baseline for growth. I would consider that pretty close to standstill or almost non -ex uh, non-existent growth. So just keep that in mind. You can use credit card, debit card, PayPal, all of those work to jump on in. Team, can you guys drop the um, link to join as well as the bonuses for fast action? So great, you guys. I've been creating content daily for 30 days, average of 15 likes for videos and 150 views. No new followers. Um, I would jump into the Talk Academy, follow every single step I put out there and literally transform your entire trajectory. Because if what you're doing isn't working at all, you've got to change it up. Kimberly says, do you recommend changing your top if you record a bunch of videos at a time? I used to. And then I realized people don't really think that much about it. And now I'm at the place where between both of my phones, one's a work phone, one's a personal phone. But between both of my phones, I have 200 TikTok drafts created. So there's drafts and uh, batched content with a ton of different tops on and different hairstyles. So I can literally be posting the same shirt over and over, different shirts. Like it doesn't matter as much as you'd think, especially as you create a bank of drafts. Okay. Health stats about unhealthy consumption aren't very fun. Should I just focus on the fun stuff? Tea parties, hydration, health boost. Um, you could share shocking stats. And I think that that would do really well. Do you have a payment plan in more installments than just three? Nope. I would. But then people make one payment and then they ghost and then that really sucks for everyone, me included. So we've done that in the past and I won't do that again because it's not fair to me, my team, the hard work we put in, everyone who's paying. So we don't have more than three payments for a payment plan. Okay. Is there an app that will pass uh, post your batched TikToks? Nope. So you just manually post them when they're ready. You can get them all ready. You can have it, you can just record the videos when you're in a batching mode um, and then go ahead and post them when it's time. But there's not currently. You guys are so great. 
Thank you. I'm so glad you guys are here. Would you suggest using no music if planning to repurpose to Facebook? Correct. Absolutely. Is the Academy always open? Yes, it is. Um, that being said, it doesn't always have the same bonuses. Okay. Dan, I am literally seeing no questions from you in here at all. Zero percent. Is it time for my cello lesson? Let's check. I want to make sure I don't miss it. This is my first cello lesson. I'm kind of nervous. We still have a little bit. I can answer some more questions. It's at 1 p.m. Central time. Um, Dan, can you ask? Oh, here we go. Here, we've got it again. Hello, Rachel. I'm and I hope I don't mispronounce your name. I'll do my best fan from Vietnam. Thank you for your context. I just quit the job I don't like. I'm interested in voice content creation on TikTok and Facebook. How could I learn and find any clients while just self-learning? I have the perfect opportunity for you. For free, I have a social media management program. This is one of our old signature programs that we have updated and we decided to make it free so that anyone can learn how to be a social media manager, how to manage um, clients, how to secure clients, how to protect themselves from a lot of the pitfalls that I wish I had avoided. You can go to join smu.com. Team, can you guys drop the link to SMU in the chat? So that is totally free for you to join. You can take action on what I teach there. Do 10 days to 1K. Go crush it. Um, please don't ever apologize for the way that you um, the way that you speak. You said, thank, sorry for my language. You are perfectly fine. You probably speak two languages better than I do. So well done. There we go. Follow for follow mentality messes with me. Same, 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 same. Haiti says, excited to be a part of the Academy. Welcome from Honduras. Or should I say, uh, muchas gracias para join. How do I say join? Oh, I can't remember how to say join. Estoy muy feliz que uh, eres en the Talk Academy porque ahora podemos hacer TikToks juntos. Yay, so great. Hola, Honduras. Okay, let's go ahead. Do you need to be super active on in following others on TikTok to get activity on your account? No. Good question. One of my followers asked why I don't follow others. Since that day I started following those that interact with my contents, I do that too. Follow who you want to. Jay says, just managed to join now. Yes, there will be a replay of this. Team, can you guys drop the links to join the Talk Academy so that everyone, because there's only 24 bonuses left for to get the list building party and the fast action taker bonuses. Cool. How do you manage negative comments? Do you delete them? I actually have an entire process for negative comments. And inside of the Talk Academy, I share with you when to delete them, when to reply to them, how to handle them, how to filter them out. Um, mentally, how to handle trolls, haters, negativity. It's always going to be there. Should we repost a video that didn't do well? You can. It doesn't hurt anything. Okay. I think we got the question now. Yay. Is there a live portion? I've already answered that. Beautiful. Can you repeat what the bonuses are if I sign up right now? Yes. We have fast action bonuses, the TikTok um, playbook. Don't, so if you don't have time for an entire course, the major points are all summarized in this playbook. We have email list, TikTok blitz, plug and play scripts to generate leads using only your existing lead magnets, TikTok, TikTok cha-ching checklists. So you can check those out. We also have my entire course, the list building party to help you build your email list. Um, Tom and Jess, can you guys connect with Marissa on the Facebook uh, feed? And then there are a few more bonuses as well. We have the TikTok fill your webinar, templated script and process for generating leads for your webinar, only using TikTok, the TikTok success path, TikTok cha ching checklist, and the fast action bonus for the first 50 people, that list building party. So I will drop this in the chat. Jay, thank you so much. Jay says, I'm in SMU Academy and it is absolutely amazing. Rachel always shares so much value. The Talk Academy is gonna be fire, I'm so sure. Thank you for those kind words and I'm happy you're here and there will be a, a replay. Okay. I think we are almost caught up, which is really exciting. Kimberly says, this is honestly one of the best webinar trainings I've ever attended and I've attended dozens. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is one of the kindest compliments I've ever gotten. Can you guys let me know in the chat, how would you rate this webinar? What would you say to anyone who's ever been to a training, a webinar, a masterclass, if they're on the fence, not sure if they should join this free one? How much value did you guys get? I would love to be able to share your advice to others in the way that I teach, the way that I present information. And you joined, congrats, I'm so excited. So we've got the bonuses down below. Shelly, I'm so excited. Welcome from the Philippines. Allison just signed up. Yay, so great. Uh, is doing health, uh, fitness and healthy recipes too broad? No, you could totally do both. And I think they go well together. Should you use reverse research for IG hashtags too? A little bit, but not quite exactly the same way. I do it differently on Instagram. Totally different. Um, is there a smaller and cheaper product? I do have a free community that you can join and I do drop free information in there. It's not going to be all organized the same way as the Talk Academy. It doesn't go as deep as the Talk Academy. It's not going to get you results as fast as the Talk Academy, but join there and then also check out my YouTube channel because I do put out free tutorials. So great. So great. Amazing. April says, I'm an e-commerce web designer and my clients are mostly moms. My hashtags have been industry based. Should I be using mom hashtags too? Yeah, go for it. Create content that moms will understand too. I think that's powerful. Mata says I've reached 10K on TikTok after two months, two videos went viral. One was a restaurant review in Spain where I live and the other was a trip I took. My goal is to help people move abroad, but now I'm getting invites to restaurants to review them and my page. I'm torn on which direction to go in now. What if you try doing both and figure out what works? It's like, don't go exclusive with someone if you're dating two people and enjoying it and everyone's fine with like having it be open until, until it's time to make a decision. Like you don't have to make a decision. So great. That's exciting. Okay. Do you have affiliate opportunities for your programs? I do. I totally do. It's a 10. So great. I'm so happy. Eileen is in. Exciting. Oh, you guys are all wonderful. So great. I'm going to make sure I answer any last questions. I joined just for the introvert part. I love that. So I'm extroverted, but my husband's introverted. My team members are introverted. Uh, most of my students are introverted. So I created that intentionally recognizing not everyone feels comfortable being on camera live or even recorded. But then the other thing that's really neat, so I'm secretly like a super big nerd. It's actually not a secret. Anyone who knows me knows like all I do is read. I'm obsessed with reading. Um, I'm a really, really big nerd. And so it's weird sometimes showing up on a platform where everyone seems so cool, if that makes sense. And I had to learn how to show up as a confident person amidst all these cool people who seem like they have their lives together. So, okay, let's see. You guys are all so great. All right, I'm gonna let everyone go. I'm gonna get ready for my cello lessons, grab a bite to eat. I'm so glad we'll drop the link one more time. Team, can you guys drop the links for anyone who is on the fence? We do have the payment plan. We have PayPal available, debit card, credit card. And I'm so excited. Congratulations to every single person who's jumping on in. We're gonna have a great time these next few weeks together, especially these next few weeks. As you jump on in, I will catch you all later. Go have such a good one. Bye, everybody. All right. So fun. Tom's like, I'm introverted. Yep. And end stream. Bye, guys.